Uh, I don't, my mom don't have newspapers because we live in an apartment. Like, we don't have books around our house. We can just sit down and read. Um, we never really read any books. Like, my mom's never read to me or anything like that. No matter how early you start children in schools, if they come home to an environment where there are no books, uh, where there is not uh, daily newspaper read, and where the, the, the daily conversation does not stimulate the growth of vocabulary, they're at high risk of becoming low literate adults themselves. We know that uh, from Susan Newman's work that high poverty communities have uh, virtually no print available even if you had the money to buy it. And uh, our high poverty schools have the lowest quality and smallest libraries. I mean, the, the typical middle class suburban teacher will have 10 times as many uh, trade books, paperbacks, and so on in her classroom as, the, as a high poverty urban teacher. Um, you can't find a, you, you can't find a, a newspaper uh, stand in uh, much less a magazine stand or a bookstore in most high poverty communities. We look at the number of age appropriate books in the homes of, of uh, um, in, say in public housing project units. You're talking about one age appropriate book in every other unit, you know, compared to perhaps a hundred age appropriate books in, in uh, my grandchildren's houses or, or uh, the, a typical middle class home. Um, you know, these kids and, and high poverty schools tend to restrict, I mean, at least half of the high poverty schools we've worked in, kids aren't allowed to take any books out of the building. They can't take library books home. They can't take their readers home. Um, and so they, they uh, have fewer texts in school. They tend to have a more, uh, uh, fewer choices, uh, less opportunity to find things that are really engaging. They can't take the books home the way my kids and grandkids are allowed to do. They don't have a hundred books at home. Um, and some of that socioeconomic, I mean, in talking with uh, the large supermarket chains, uh, when we notice that the chain store serving a low-income neighborhood had almost no magazine or book racks, but the ones in my neighborhood had a whole aisle of hardcover, softcover, and magazines galore, and the answer was uh, we, we put on the shelf what sells. And we sell a lot of books and so on and magazines in, in your store, and we don't sell the few we have here.